Okay, so here we have to have an appetizer and we have to have a main course. Main course, right? So how many options do we have as an appetizer? Well, we have 10 options. And then how many options do we have for a main course? We have eight. And if you simply multiply those together, you'll get 80. And that's the amount of combinations you have for a two course meal. Question two, probability of getting exactly one head. We don't want two heads. We want one. That's one. We want one head. That's two. There's no heads there. So that's one, two options out of four, but they want a simplified fraction. And if we simplify that, that's one over two or one slash two on your computer. Question number three, you have two shirts, three pairs of pants and two sh pairs of shoes. How many combinations of outfits? Well, you have to have a t-shirt, you have to have pants and you have to have shoes, right? How many t-shirts can you choose from? Two, right? How many pants can you choose from? There's three. How many shoes can you choose from? There's two. Multiply them together. Two times three is six. Six times two is 12. That means there's 12 outfits that you can choose from. Question four, how many steps does the following action take, have rather? Choose one snack and one drink. Well, that's one action, or that's one step. That's another step. One snack, one drink. That's two steps. There it is. Question five, probability of picking one green card and one blue card. So we need one green and one blue. We gotta look carefully. One green, one blue. You're looking for G and B or B and G. One green, one blue. That's a green and blue. One green and blue. That's a green and blue. Look through the rest of them and you don't find any more green and blues. So that's two out of one, two, three, four, five times one, two, three, four, two out of 20, which reduces to one over 10. That's the simplified fraction. Make sure you simplify that. Question six. Stores carrying nine different CD players, six different receivers, 10 different speakers. A, a sound system consists of one of each of those. How many different combinations can we have? You have to have a CD player, you have to have a receiver, and you have to have speakers. How many different CD players do you have? You have nine, right? How many different receivers? You have six options for that. And then how many different speakers? You have 10. Multiply them together. Nine times six is 54. 54 times 10 is 540. Sounds like a lot, but that's accurate. 540 different combinations for your sound system. Question seven, you're rolling a number cube and you're flipping a coin. Are these events independent or dependent? You have to roll a number cube. Is that gonna impact what you get when you flip a coin? No, right? You can still get heads or tails if you just roll a number cube before that. So those are independent events. They don't depend on one another. Question eight, find a compound event for the following action. Picking a number at random three times. This would mean we would pick a one and then a one and then a one. That's, that could happen. This means we pick a three and then a five, but we have to, we have to choose something three times at random. So that's only two times. That doesn't work. This is only one time. This is choosing something five times. So this is obviously our best answer because there's three times that we're choosing a, a number at random for that action. All right, question number nine. <clears throat> Margaret wants to order an ice cream cone with two scoops that are different flavors. Possible flavor choices are strawberry, chocolate, and vanilla. Which of the following shows all possible flavor combinations? So she has two scoops, right? Scoop one, scoop two. How many options does she have for scoop, scoop number one? Well, she has strawberry, chocolate, and vanilla. So she has three options. And then for scoop two, she also has, oh no, she does not have three options anymore because they are different flavors, right? So if she chooses, let's say, strawberry the first time, right, she only has to choose from chocolate and vanilla from there, okay? So she only has two choices for the second scoop. And to further explain that, if she doesn't choose strawberry the first time on the first scoop, maybe she chooses chocolate. Now she can choose strawberry or vanilla. Or she could have chosen vanilla for the first scoop and then chosen chocolate or strawberry. But because she can't choose the same flavor, she only has one, two, three, four, five, six options, which is three times two, which is where we get that six from. So... <clears throat> 
our, our answer choices are not, are not six, correct? So which is why it makes sense to list these out. So we could have strawberry and chocolate. We could have strawberry and vanilla. So we're looking for the one that makes the most sense. Strawberry, chocolate, strawberry, vanilla. Chocolate, strawberry, that's the, here. Straw, chocolate, vanilla, that's there. Vanilla, chocolate, that's here. And vanilla, strawberry, that's right here. So this actually ends up being our best choice. It just looks a little, looks a little confusing. So you gotta, you gotta look carefully. All right, be real careful. Last question here, a lot going on. Okay, a designer has designed three pairs of pants and six tops to create outfits. If the designer wants to choose a top and then pants for each outfit, which of the following tree diagrams accurately displays the sample space for all the possible outfits? This is really important where the order absolutely matters. So what are they choosing first, pants or, or tops, right? Choose a top first and then pants. So we're looking for T to be in the first column. The question is, does she have six different tops? Yes, she does. Does she have six different tops? Yes, she does. And then D, it looks like D, our answer choice got moved all the way down here. Or it got off the page. Sorry about that. D is off the page. Let's hope it's not right. <laughs> right so this one is obviously automatically wrong because they're choosing pants first so we don't like this option we have to choose a top first so a top first and then pants come second how many pairs of pants do we have do we have two pairs of pants or do we really have one two three we have three so this doesn't work we are choosing one of six tops and then one two three pairs of pants right so c actually ends up being our best answer six tops first and then we have three pants to choose from from there all right there you go